How you doing? So last episode, we got this uh, this potion room set up, and we got we got our new friend Stu set up over here with his um, little trading bit. And of course, we can't forget Dave. Dave's still there. There you go. And today, I want to finish off the farms downstairs. Um, so what are we missing? We're missing a cactus farm and the two types of mushrooms. So I'll get those cracked off. But first, before I do that, I need to show you what I've done outside. Done a little bit of tidying up, uh, making the area look a little bit neater and doing a bit of hidden lighting and stuff as well, because it was quite dangerous in places. Still is <laughs> here and there. But um, yeah, it's work in progress. We're getting there. <laughs> so if we have a look outside, I've connected up this dirt path that Rogue had going out from his build and I've just put some uh, some greenery around made it made it a little bit enclosed you can still see the ocean peeking through there it looks quite nice I reckon got some of these street lamps in lots of hidden lighting under here as well so we'll make our way around I've got rid of all the chests and stuff as well around the front that looks better. That looks nice. Uh, we've got those are jack-o'-lanterns, but I've turned them all around so you can't see the silly faces. There you go. Just looks like normal pumpkins. <laughs> and we carry on round. I've extended the pathway to go round to the front, so I can get round to stew a bit easier. We've got some berry bushes and some roses and peonies and stuff. And then as we work our way round, we've got another pile of pumpkins and some more two tall plants and stuff and I've incorporated the podsol that I accidentally made over there and I deliberately wanted it to look kind of overgrown and a little bit unkempt so I think I think I pulled it off to be fair it looks quite <laughs> it looks a bit of a state <laughs> but that's intentional that's what it's supposed to look like lots of ferns and lots of tall grass and stuff Really liking it. So I suppose we must get cracking with these farms. Right, okay, so this is the layer for the cactus. And to be honest, I don't think I really need access to it. No, I think I'm just gonna build it and just leave it as it is. I don't need to look at cactus growing. <laughs> That'd be a bit boring, I think. So, do a water stream. We'll get that to there. Um, it will be 13 by 13, so let's mark that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. To there. That looks a bit right. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, hmm, not too good. Oh, we came to that right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, hmm. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> if, it, if it comes to it, we'll just miss out a corner. It's, it's fine. It'll be okay. Yeah, that works out right, actually. That corner isn't actually an issue, I don't think. The cactus can still grow there. So we've got five by five. So each layer will have 25 cactus. So I'm just gonna have everything funnel. Ooh, ooh, steady. <laughs> funnel into all these water streams that I've already got. So underneath the first layer, the first layer will actually be another block or two higher than that. We're gonna have a collection system. And if you've seen the previous cactus farm I built back on um, season zero, I think. Yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> um, I had collection at the bottom and then each floor of the cactus farm has its own actual floor and water streams as well. And with a farm this size, 
if you put a water source in each corner, each of the four corners, it'll come down and stop in the middle. So I'm just going to set up the, the secondary collection for that. Right, okay, I've just shifted the water stream over one, so when it comes into the square, it's in a corner. And then if you put a water source in the opposite corner, there you go, everything starts to flow around. And I need, have I got anything? No, hold on. Oh, a button might do. Yeah, a button. I'll use a button. And then if you count this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that should be just right, hopefully. There we go. Alternate blocks have I got. We use granite. Use some of that. So that's the main collection sort of finished. So I've got to build up the first floor and then start placing the cactus in. I'm gonna mark all these so I know where the cactus is gonna go eventually. And then I can fill in all the gaps. So I've built up the first layer now, and the next floor will be, um, let's have a look, cactus, fence post, floor. So that's gonna be the level of the next one, up there. And I'm just about ready to put the water sources in. Now this corner was a little bit tricky. That's actually a bubble elevator behind there. So I've blocked it off with a stair, and I'm hoping that it doesn't affect the water flow too much. So it's not going to be an issue for collection because the cactus will never pop off in that direction. But I just need the water to flow correctly. I think it does. Should be okay. It's looking good. So you can sort of see already that there's going to be a ring there, which I'm going to have to punch out. Uh, let's get some more water. Getting a bit dark. Put some temporary lights around. The water source and water source. those torches so yeah that's worked great right. so yeah that's worked out great um, let's punch this out so there you go cactus will drop off fall into these water streams and then drop down into the center right so the cactus are in now and the posts as well but I'm just swapping it up a little bit I've noticed um, along here, there are a couple of dead spots in the water, which wasn't really good. I don't really want that. So I'm thinning it out a little bit and making sure that all the water flows into the center. So we've only lost one, two, three, four. We've lost about eight cactus on each floor, which I don't think is a big deal. I'd rather have max um, efficiency. I'd rather have a, a lossless farm. Well, as close to as you can get with the cactus farm. Right, so the cactus farm, that's all finished. But before I carry on with the next bit, I need to do a bit of shopping. So I'm going to come over here. This is, I think this is Jess's shop. And I've heard. Let me see. There it is. She's selling diamond ore. And... I think with fortune, I might actually make some back. So, how much is it? Two diamonds for one or
Right. See how well we do. So I've just spent uh, 18. No way. I think fortune is broken. And this is Mr. Beadstone shop. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Want some pickles? Uh, how much are they? One diamond for three stacks. Uh, there we go. Is there an ender chest? Good at this paying. There you go. Sorted. What's he got in there? Even more pickles. So, this is the beginnings of the final floor. This is going to have the mushrooms and the vines. And I needed these pickles because mushrooms require low light levels 12 and below to grow and spread and three pickles just so happens to be a light level of 12 so i'm hoping i'm hoping this will work all right let's just see how dark it is now I don't want it to be too dark, I don't want mobs falling down here. Um, to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 ish. Mm. Probably need. Um, bit more light in it. Do that, let's have a look. Yeah, the mushrooms are going to go on there. And they should spread around. And uh, we'll put one there. Obviously, this is very slow. <laughs> Probably do another couple of these. Probably have another another one there somewhere. Probably another block here for them to grow in. I think this floor is just about finished. I need a couple more brain mushrooms. And then I think we're pretty much done. But maybe I can actually show you how this is going to work. Um, so for the most part, these mushrooms are just spread by themselves. And then I'll just go around and pick them up. And then drop them into that top chest there. And then I can flick that activate a dispenser which will fire everything down into the storage but to kickstart me I think if I use that one I should be able to bone meal it and it should grow there you go
with a bit of fortune on this, um, should get quite a few mushrooms back. And obviously silk touch to get the actual blocks as well. There you go. And now I can plant the rest of these. They're about even. Um, Oh, that's the one where I need to go there. And then I have one of them. There you go. And these mushrooms are spread about two blocks out, I think, in each direction. But you have to alternate them because they don't grow close to others of the same colour. Which is weird. But there you go. Let's pick that up. And then, I don't know if you can quite see it, maybe if I get in the water I'll get some conduit effect. No. Hold on. There we go. So, we've got the vines growing. They might take a while, but they'll spread and come down eventually. So I'll just keep a bit of bone meal in that one and I'll bring some um, some shears down as well for the vines. But then the trap chest, if we throw the mushrooms into it. And I've got a little bit of junk as well to get rid of. There you go. And we flick that. There you go. So they'll all be in the storage sometime soon. Next one. Next one. There you go. 14 and 22, not too bad. And um, we've got over a stack of practice already. That's pretty good going actually. Let's see. We're getting there. We're getting there, you know. Sugar cane's a little bit slow, but yeah, that's still cool. Not too bad at all. Now I have actually taken quite a bit of bone meal out of here. Okay, so it's the next day, and as you can see, things are progressing. Now, to be fair, it's a slow burner. I knew it was going to be. It's one of those things. Mushrooms don't grow particularly fast, really. But it's good to see that they're spreading, and the vines too. They're filling out. Um, I've made a couple of changes. I've had to put another another light, another sea pickle in there because I got ambushed by a skelly, <laughs> which wasn't nice. But um, yeah, so I think that's the only dark spot. So I just hope it hasn't affected the light levels too much. And also, you can't quite see, I don't think. I mean, uh, you might be able to. There's a solid block up there just to stop the mushrooms from growing too large if I do bone meal them. But other than that, we're doing quite well. So there you go. I think my basement area is just about done now, which is nice. So all these little farms, they'll just tick away while people are out and about and wandering around the spawn, the spawn area. So don't really need to worry too much about it. I will have to come back here every now and then and just manually collect all the vines and these mushrooms every now and then but that's fine that's the whole idea and then pretty soon i'll have loads and loads of bone meal for my farm and my main base which would be nice i'm looking forward to building that but i am out of time again for today's episode so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did then please do leave a like and if you'd like to see more please do subscribe thank you for watching goodbye